Okay, so in this video, uh, I want to show you now how you can uh, f change the files and, and learn a little bit about the uh, web serving folder on your XAMPP or XAMPP installation for Windows 7. Okay, so if I go where it says computer and I open this up, I'm running, I just so happen to be running um, boot camp on a Macintosh, so my Windows installation is a second partition on a Mac hard drive. So it's still going to be the C drive though, so it's going to look just like the same thing probably on your computer if you're in Windows 7. Windows 8 might look a little bit different. But um, I want to go into there, and if you look like down the list where it says XAMPP, I'm going to open that up. That folder, if you look up here for this pathway where it says computer and then it says C drive and then XAMPP, this XAMPP folder is where everything for that installation uh, for that program and all of its components is stored. Now, there are a couple of things I want you to pay attention to. The Apache service, it's uh, running you know, on your computer. All of the files are stored in the Apache folder. Um, for MySQL, they're stored here. PHP stuff is stored here, and so on. Now, the web serving folder on your computer is this one, the one that's called htdocs. Now, it's up to you but what I would recommend is that you make a shortcut. So I'm going to right click on this and uh, I'm going to say create shortcut and it puts it here but I'm going to put it on my on my uh, desktop. Now you could put it on your desktop or you could pin it to your start menu or your taskbar or something like that. So um, and the, the thing is that's going to be really handy so you don't always have to navigate through this big long mess of um, folders, okay? Um, and I want to show you what's in that htdocs folder, so I'm just going to go ahead and close that window. Let's go into the htdocs shortcut, and you see that there's a whole bunch of stuff here. Now, um, this file that says index, it says that it's a PHP script, and if we wanted to look at um, the properties of it, it'll tell you what the file type is, so you see that it's a PHP file. Um, Okay, and then you've got this other file that this is going to be an HTML document. If I double click this document, it just says it works, okay? Because this one is ending in HTML. What's happening is that XAMPP is automatically loading the one that's called index.php. It's, it, it's set so that it loads the PHP version of an index file before it'll load the HTML version. Now, let's go ahead and see what's going on here. If you were to look here, this this XAMPP folder, I don't want you to be confused with this XAMPP folder and the one that, you know, is currently housing our htdocs folder. They're two different folders, okay? So this XAMPP folder that's in the C drive, that's the main one that, that contains all of the folders, all of the files and applications for the XAMPP installation and for your web uh, service, okay? But inside of that is your htdocs folder. htdocs, as I said again, is your web serving directory. So anything that you put inside of that directory is what you can actually see if you type in the address localhost slash whatever. So if I get rid of in my browser URL address bar, if I get rid of the localhost slash XAMPP and I just hit return, watch what happens. It automatically loads this again. That's because what's happening is it's loading this index.php file and there's something in that file that's redirecting us into this folder. So let's take a look at that. You can open this up in whatever uh, code editor you're using, whether it's uh, Dreamweaver or Komodo Edit or something like that, or Notepad even, even though I don't really recommend that you use Notepad. So I'm going to open mine in Dreamweaver. Okay, so I'm going to double click this and it's going to pull it up in Dreamweaver. Okay, and let's look at this, right? This is right now in the design view, it's not in the code view, and it's saying something's wrong with this installation. Well, let's look at the code view and see what's really going on. Okay, now what's happening is we've got the PHP, and the reason we never see this is because this PHP code is actually being executed. The only reason that this might show up is because for some reason this PHP isn't getting parsed and executed properly. So like 
if your PHP uh, library is not working or you know if PHP is disabled for some reason, something like that, then you're going to get this text met error that says there's something wrong with the installation. But what's happening right here is this is saying, okay, a bunch of stuff, we're not going to go into all of it, but what it's doing is it's redirecting us into that XAMPP folder. So I don't want that to happen, okay? So what I'm going to do for right now is I'm going to go ahead and close this and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rename this index page to index-zamp. And then that way I'll know that that was the index folder for zamp that automatically takes us here. And, and what you'll just need to remember if you ever want to get to this folder again is that you'll actually have to type this uh, pathway after localhost. So now if now that I've changed the name from index.php to index-zamp.php, it shouldn't automatically load when I go to localhost. Now what it's doing is it's loading this HTML file, the one that says it works. Okay, so let's actually change that one too. So we'll say index... Uh, actually, you know what? You can either change it or you can get rid of it. So let's just delete that. That's easy enough to get rid of. Okay, so now that one's not there. Let's go to localhost again. We're going to refresh the page. And now that it doesn't find an index page, you'll notice that uh, directory listing is enabled on this installation, and that means that it's not going to forbid you from looking at a directory listing. Uh, a lot of web servers, um, by default, for security reasons, if you were to just type in a pathway to a folder and without you know any kind of a file name, it's going to automatically try to find an index page, and if index doesn't exist, then it, a lot of times it'll tell you forbidden, that it's forbidden entry. You can't, you know, get into that because you don't have an explicit pathway to a file. The exception to that rule is if directory listing is turned on, and it is in this case. So now we can see this list of files here, and this is much better for us um, so that uh, we can have something that's a little bit better for um, you know, our development server. And this folder right here where it says ZAMP, that's how you get back to this page, okay?